Okay then, well, we're in Tucum Carry, and this is where we ate dinner. This place is called Dell's. Where's the sign at? Can you see that? Right there. Thanks, Phil. Anyway, so we ate some supper in there. Uncle Phil had a carne asada, a sopapilla, and I had a grilled cheese sandwich in the salad bar. So we're going to take a quick swing at the boulevard here on 66 and just see the signs. So we'll take you guys with us. And this place, um, Tucum Carries, where me and Phil stopped three years ago. And I ate up right up, just up the street right here and we walked around at the motel and stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to get going, put you guys up here. Really? driving this is a 2014 Versa SV it's got about 39,000 miles on it. this is the first car that come on truck get out of the way the first car I've ever driven has got a CVT transmission in it and I didn't know if I'd like something like this and my initial impression of it is it's pretty nice it's okay definitely tell cars have come a long way in 14 years the car I've got to 2000 this one's much quieter and for the same amount of horsepower it feels like it's a lot heavier there are moments when this transmission does rev with the engine a lot like going up a hill Ooh, watch out now there's the blue swallow I'll we'll probably stay there again next time or stay there next time but overall it's okay it's been getting about averaging about 34 miles per gallon but most of the time cruising on the highway it cruises pretty quietly it runs about 70 something miles an hour runs about 2200 rpm so it's pretty tame and yep. Yep. there's a sign here I don't have to go too fast And just for a bit, little piece of trivia, Tucum Carry was one of the one of the last stretches of 66 to be bypassed by the interstate. And they fought it. They tried to keep the interstate from going around the town. The interstate is to the left over here now. So there's, you know, like we saw last time we were here. There's a lot of businesses that are shut down and stuff. Lowe's. Guess that's a grocery store. The only thing this car does, it doesn't shutter and doesn't do anything, anything like that, but it kind of it has this thing it does. Ooh, cement. As it goes up through the speed range, about 40 miles per hour, it kind of does this, like the gear ratio or something is changing in there. You hear it kind of make a cool, what is it, kind of sort of sound. But it drives nice. These cars had never got a real good review. One sign blinking up there. We'll turn around up there. Phil wants to get back so he can watch his TV. 
ATV stuff, so we'll do that. Yes, you do. Don't lie, Phil. <laughs> no, Phil's not lying. Oh, look at the sign right there. That's a retro sign. I love stuff like that. Yeah. Look at that sign. Remember, they used to, a lot of them used to be like that. Is it a Mexican? Yeah. See, wow. see, the thing is, you see a lot of that here out in this part of the country. At Huntsville and places where we live, they won't fix the signs like that. They want to, they, you know. People are people back at home in Huntsville and surrounding areas. They're too urbane, or they consider themselves too urbane to patronize places like this and keep old signs going and stuff. Let's get you a close up there. That. That's the Buckaroo Motel, which we're also not staying at. Come on, Buckaroo. I work with the guys got one of these. It's a 2015, and I noticed they changed all that lighting there to the same color, finally, instead of it being orange. This is a year older than his, I guess. Let's see if you can hear that. blinking in the center that means that we're getting low on gas and it gets to 39 miles left on the range it, it uh, starts blinking. You okay over there? Yep. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said no lie. That, I mean don't tell stories Phil. <laughs> But this place we're staying at, and we'll show, we're, well, I'm going to do a video in the morning, a little video tour of it, and uh, let you see this place. It's called the Historic Route 66 Motel, and I don't know what it was called originally, but it was built in 1963, and it is, you know, original mostly, but it is clean as a pen. Like I said, and we've said several times already, me and Uncle Phil got pissed off about that place last night. Don't ever stay there. Don't ever stay at the Golden Spur Motel. He's laughing because Uncle Phil accidentally, we're not going to say that word, but Uncle Phil accidentally called it the wrong word there, the Golden Something Else Motel. And I corrected him yesterday, told him the right name, but now, you ask me, I think the one you called is more appropriate. <laughs> Maybe take the golden off of it. What do you think? Yep. Yeah. Our standards are just too high these days, I guess. Well, you can see what's open and what's not open. This is Saturday, right? It is. There's Motel Safari. That's where also I'm not staying at. And then coming up looks like the what's that say? TP TP Curios. Huh. There's the restaurant sign. You don't ever see those anymore either. All that stuff is gone from Huntsville like years ago. All of it. Now, there's the restaurant we just ate at. That's Dale's coming up on the right there. Dale's. There's the Value Inn we just pointed out, which we're also not staying at. And the Cactus RV Park.
Deer Trails. Of course, we've already been here. We've been off the road a couple hours, haven't we? pull right up to our front door here well that's Phil's front door and then mine's to the left right there I, he's in 103 and I'm in 104 all right thanks for watching guys and we'll pick up on down the road so yep all right 99.